Hello, this is Dr. Benfinio here with Cookie Monster, Stegosaurus, and Mr. Googles with another Zoom tutorial about a much requested feature, self-select breakout rooms. So if you are not familiar with breakout rooms in Zoom, they allow you to split a larger meeting up into smaller sub-meetings where the participants can only see and hear the other people in that breakout room. So it's kind of like breaking up into physical small group discussions around tables in a larger classroom. This enables small group activities or group work that would otherwise be difficult in the larger Zoom meeting setting where people would constantly be talking over each other. Now, while this feature is nice, it previously had a problem where participants could only be assigned to rooms either manually or randomly by the host. There was no way for participants to select or move between rooms themselves. A new update in Zoom version 5.3 allows them to do this, so in this video I'll show you how. Now, as the host, you will create the breakout rooms by selecting the Breakout Rooms button in the bottom toolbar. Once you've updated to Zoom 5.3, in addition to the Assign Automatically and Assign Manually radio buttons, you will have a third one for Let Participants Choose Rooms. So I'm going to select that and say I want to create two breakout rooms, then click Create. That will bring up my list of two rooms, which are just named Room 1 and Room 2 by default, but you'll notice that you can rename these. For example, one use I've heard suggested for breakout rooms in office hours is to create rooms for different problems that students might have questions about. For example, some students might have questions about problem 3, and some students have questions about problem 8 on the homework. So you can rename these rooms correspondingly so students know which breakout room to join. Now, you'll notice that even though I've selected the option to let students choose the rooms manually, I can still assign people to rooms as the host. For example, I can click Assign here, and I'm going to assign Cookie Monster to the room for Problem 3. I can also go down to Options, and if at any time I would like to disable the option to allow participants to choose rooms, I can uncheck that box here. You will also see in the options that I have the box for Automatically Move All Assigned Participants into Breakout Rooms checked, so when I click Open All Rooms, Cookie Monster will be moved into his assigned room automatically, but the other students will be given a choice for which room to join. Once I've clicked that button, you'll see I get a list of all the students who are currently unassigned, as well as the students who are in each room. I can join either one of these rooms if I want to, but I'm going to assign host privileges to the Stegosaurus so you can see what joining the room looks like from a student perspective. So I have made Stegosaurus the host. I am now a regular meeting participant, so this is what your students would see. They can still join the breakout rooms by clicking the breakout rooms button down at the bottom. You'll see the only difference here is that they do not get the list of who hasn't joined a room yet, but they can see who is already in the room. So if they want to go with their friends or they have a specific person they're supposed to work with, they can see that list of people here, click join. So I'm going to click the join button get a confirmation pop-up asking me to confirm that I want to join this room, click yes. It's going to take a second to load, and then it will bring me into the breakout room with just Cookie Monsters, so I can no longer see or hear the people in the main meeting room or in the other breakout rooms. If I want to switch to a different breakout room, I can do that by clicking the breakout room button, selecting a different room, and clicking join. Now, there are a lot of other details about breakout rooms, like how the chat and screen sharing and recording work. I'm not going to cover those in this video. This is really just about this new self-select feature. Again, I do have a playlist with a bunch of other Zoom tutorials, including one about breakout rooms, in the description below this video, so you can check that out. Hopefully this feature is useful. I know it's something a lot of people have been asking for, along with things like rearranging the gallery view or multi-pin and multi-spotlighting video, which I also have tutorials on. If you have a question or a comment or a suggestion for another tutorial, please leave a comment below this video. Thank you.